the influence on our life. God's to be the one that determines how we live and what we do. Oh, we are in the world. God says that. But we're not to be of the world. I want to challenge you. We need to make sure we don't allow the worldliness to control our lives. Because when we do, well, we become insensitive to right spiritual values. We actually lose our testimony. So that when we finally get to the point where we say, enough's enough, I can't do anymore, I gotta take a stand now, the world just stands and laughs at us. And we go through, we set ourselves up for extreme internal conflict. Because you know the Lord. And the Holy Spirit dwelling within you will not let you be at peace in a place where you shouldn't be. And living in a way you shouldn't be. He's going to constantly, well, torment us until we do what we're supposed to do. The Bible says he's going to vex, that, he, that, that Lot was vexed from day to day. Because by the wicked conversation of those people there. That's the language of lifestyle, the conversation. The word conversation in, in the King James has the idea of lifestyle. Their wicked lifestyle. Just, he couldn't take it. He wasn't supposed to be there, and he knew he wasn't supposed to be there. But he had allowed himself to become so involved that he wouldn't step away, and he wouldn't change. I want to challenge you. Don't allow the world to become so controlling in your life that when the world and God separate, you follow the world. Let's look at you. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the way you've worked in our lives. I pray you'd help us, Lord. But look at the example of a lot. Lord, not a good example. A bad one. But Lord, you give us both good and bad examples so that we can follow and not follow the examples of those in the Old Testament. Help us, Lord, to look at the life of Lot. And realize what we need to change in our lives this day. Pray you be with us and bless the things, the things that are done now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.